Hi, this is Lisa Hayden with Channel 6 Central Kentucky TV, Community Focus on Washington County. And today we have with us these beautiful young ladies who are contestants in the Distinguished Young Woman Program in Washington County. Welcome, girls. Thanks. Thank you. So, I am just excited about this upcoming uh, production, so I want to hear all about it. And first of all, you're just going to have to tell me who you are. So, I'm Sydney Medley, and I'm testing number one. There you go. <laughs> I'm Madison Whitaker, I'm participant number four. I'm Jennifer Wajardo, and I'm participant number three. I'm Anna Weir, and I'm participant number two. Great, great. Sounds like you all are really preparing for the, I mean, you've got it under control <laughs> already. So now I would like to hear what, now, you, know, you can tell me, Sydney, you tell me what the Distinguished Young Program is all about. It's about being like who you are in your community, like being out there and you're being your best self and doing everything you can for your community, and yeah. That's right, yes. <laughs> and tell me more about it. Um, it's a scholarship program that gives the participants of anybody who lives in Washington County money to go to college and help them with that. Ah, and that's a real advantage, isn't it? Yeah, okay, and I know there's still more to tell about it. It's a program that offers a lot of opportunities for all of the um, high school juniors, now seniors, that want to participate in it. So. Yeah. And this program shows all the participants their uniqueness and their different talents, and that's what I like about it. Yes, very true. You know, um, Every young lady in this is certainly uh, an individual and has her own uh, unique talents, and uh, and you will be judged in uh, several different categories uh, with regard to your talent and um, I think speaking skills. So tell me about that. Oh yeah, we get judged based on our talent. I think the interview is the one that counts the most so hopefully I do good on that one yes. <laughs> yeah oh yeah oh yeah my mom's been asking me a lot of questions <laughs> they gave us a little paper to help us prepare for it so that's good <laughs> that is good because I know uh, having helped do mock judging in the past you have to be aware of current events and you have to have some um, knowledge, uh, some ab about history and and other kinds of things. So, uh, what do you think? Have, what have you been practicing? What was your name now? Madison. Madison, right? <laughs> yeah. What What have you been practicing, Madison? I've been practicing my fitness and my talent a lot because those are things that I feel more comfortable in because it's just easier for me the way they do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because now your talent will play a part, and your fitness will play a part, and am I, poise and fitness, is that correct? Self-expression. Self Self okay. And am I missing anything? Um, Scholastics. Scholastics. That's a huge part. Yes. 25%, I believe. So I'm sure you girls have been studying all year, preparing for this, <laughs> making sure that you are at the top of your class, correct? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we take our, our schoolwork very seriously. We, we always try to improve. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 So now um, I want to hear what talent you all have in store for us that night. What about it, Miss Sydney? I will be singing At Last by Etta James. Ooh. That's a good song. That's a great song. Yeah, great. Okay. I will be singing The Girl You Think I Am by Carrie Underwood. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah. I'll be doing a dance choreography to Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. That's a good one. And I'm doing a piano solo, uh, Brahms Rhapsody. 
Wow. Now, you all are some talented girls. <laughs> this is going to be a tough competition that night, isn't it? Mm -hmm. However, I get the impression that you all are pretty close. Pretty close. Yes. yes. Good friends? Good friends, yes. Because all of that, all of that, like close to your day. I am so sorry. I should have clarified that statement. I meant pretty close as a group and with each other. I think that's one of the best experiences of the Distinguished Young Woman program. That's what, yeah. That is true. Um, I've become more closer friends with all the participants through this program. Yeah. Yeah, we, we spend a lot of time together, so we just get to know each other a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here you are, seniors now. So... You know, you better get to know each other because this is the last year you're going to get to spend together, right? I mean, you'll all be going off somewhere to college or to jobs or, you know. So, okay, so tell me then what you have in uh, uh, mind uh, to do after you get through with this program. I want to major in forensic psychology, but I'm not sure what college I want to go to yet. I keep that some choices open. Maybe Louisville. It's like is that like <laughs> is that like CSI stuff? Oh, I love it. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. And what about you? I want to attend Eastern Kentucky University and major in education. Good. I hope teach teach high school, I hope. Um, I'm not sure about what grade yet. I like little kids though. <laughs> okay. Cause we certainly need our teachers. Yes, indeed. So, yeah. And what about you? I want to attend University of Louisville, and I want to major in psychology. Yep. Great, great. Be a psychologist, perhaps? Yeah. Uh-huh. And help people. That's good. And I want to pursue a career somewhere in the medical field. Not sure exactly what yet, but something medicine. In medicine. <laughs> <laughs> well... I just knew that you all were going to be and uh, you know, you all had big plans ahead. And because that is one thing you can say about this competition, all the young ladies who uh, participate in this uh, have, um, you know, made some career choices and, and are serious about what you're going to do with your future. And I am so impressed by that. I had not a clue when I was <laughs> that age. So it's really, it's, that is wonderful. Yeah, that's great. So, okay, so we're going to get to uh, see you all. Um, and give me the date on that. June 10th at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. <laughs> June 10th, 7 o'clock. And where is that going to be? Right here at the old high school gym. Yeah. Right. And is there anything else we should know about that? What ticket prices are or uh, should come early? I think the early ticket prices are $8. And at the door, it's $10? Yes. Okay. And, you, and, and it's at 7 o'clock here. And um, so you can get your tickets in advance. Where? Oh, it's Springfield State Bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. And, and Nancy's yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> good to know, too. There you go. So get your tickets in advance for the Distinguished Young Woman program. And look at these beautiful women we're going to see uh, in competition that night. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. So our next group of young ladies who are participating in the Distinguished Young Women's program at Washington County are... Madison Bodine, participant number seven. Caitlin Norris, participant number five. Alexander Wharton, participant number six. Sarah Downs, participant number eight. All right. You all are doing good, too, just like that first group. <laughs> you are getting this down, I think. Yeah. So now I've got to hear what kind of uh, uh, routine you're going to do. Huh, um, that evening, your um, I'm going to be singing Hallelujah. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to sing My Heart Will Go On. Oh, that's beautiful, too. Vocal performance, too, the greatest love of all. <laughs> 
I'm uh, not singing. I'm playing the <laughs> piano, um, and it's called Solfeggietto by CPE Bach. <laughs> I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> but it sounds lovely because I love Bach, so there you are. And all of these uh, wonderful um, uh, vocal performances. So there's a lot of those, it sounds like, this year. Yeah, that's well, great. That's unusual. Two piano. Only two piano. That yeah, that's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> so now I think, Miss Downs, you are uh, Bethlehem. I am. Yes, I go to Bethlehem. Okay. <laughs> so now, who are your parents? My mom is Elaine Downs, and my dad, he died, but he was Stephen Downs. I know them very well. <laughs> yes, indeed. So I, I should have realized that. And your parents? Stephen Susan Wharton. I know your parents too. That's great. Uh, Chris and Jackie Norris. Yes, I know. I know that. Yes. And David and Shauna Bodon. I know. I know those. I know those names as well. So I'm glad that your parents are being so supportive of you all to help you uh, get through this competition. And so, speaking of that. How has that been at home with uh, your parents and the support that they are providing you? They've been very encouraging. They've motivated me to do, do this, and they've just been really good in helping me get prepared. That's great. Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad have both been very encouraging of me doing the program, and they help me get everything that I need, and they just are there when I need to talk to them for it. <laughs> that is wonderful. That is wonderful. And? They've motivated me to practice like daily by using the phrase practice makes perfect 24 <laughs> seven. <laughs> well, that's what can you say? It's true. It's true. And well, my mom, she's always a little harsh on me. Well, not necessarily harsh, but she always encourages me to practice all the time. So that helps a lot. <laughs> well, I know that your parents want to see you uh, perform well and do you think that you're going to, um, I mean, if you're practicing, then I hope you're not going to get any stage fright. What about that? Um, I'm a little bit nervous because, I mean, I practice the piano every day, but this is a different piano. So I'm scared I'll, like, mess up or something. <laughs> I'm nervous, too, because with singing, like, singing with a microphone is totally different than just, like, singing, like, if I were just singing right now. So I'm nervous to see like the change in it because I don't want to be like really loud starting out and then be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> well, see. well, you do need to be, you know, I, I'm sure your coaches have told you this, but you know, when you are on stage, you do really need to, uh, what is the word, um, get your voice out there, yeah. project. Thank you, that is the term. <laughs> yes, and so you've been, you've been taught that. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of really quiet, but I need to learn how to be a little louder, so hopefully I'll get that sorted out before the night of. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 do you, and do you think you're going to get any stage fright? Um, I hope not. I've been practicing a lot, so hopefully I won't get stage fright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, but you're going to have a big audience out there, so, but with the support of each other... I think that means a lot, and that that will keep you that will keep you from uh, getting you know nervous. You think? Definitely, for sure. <laughs> so, well, I want to thank you, young ladies. Is and and we've talked with the other uh, young ladies about uh, you know what time the performance is and uh, June the tenth at night <laughs> p.m. <laughs> Seven p.m. <laughs> Yeah, and then, uh, and, and so, and they can get their tickets in advance, we talked about at the Springfield State Bank and Nancy's place. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyway, well, I want to, um, I'm going to congratulate you in advance for however you uh, come out, because in my book, you're all winners, and that is the truth. So, thank you, and good luck to you. 
Okay, so this is our last group of uh, contestants for the Distinguished Young Women program that uh, will be June the 10th. And so welcome, and I'd like to uh, you all to introduce yourselves. I am Emily Smith, participant number nine. I'm Brandy Ford, I'm participant number 10. And I'm participant number 11, Jamie Taylor. See, I just love how you girls already have that down. I mean, <laughs> everybody has that down very well. So now I need to know what it is you're going to perform that night. I am going to do an interpretive dance to a song, All I Ask by Adele. I'm doing a contemporary dance to Andrea Day, Rise Up. I will be doing a vocal performance to Carrie Underwood's All-American Girl. Wow. You know, there are a lot of uh, vocal um, uh, talent this year. Mm -hmm. And I think you might be the only dance. No, did what was, you're going to do, da mm -hmm. oh, you're, okay. Dances. You're going to do the dance too. Yeah, we're both doing dances. Okay. There's like three girls doing the dance, me, her, and Jenny. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yours is interpretive, is that what you talk about? Contemporary. Contemporary. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, have you all been preparing uh, for this? I mean, did you take dance lessons or? No, I kind of came up with my friends and like came up with it just out of the moment. So you just did your own choreography and and an original um, dance then? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay, and what about yours? Um, well, I've had a love for music and dance ever since I was little, and I've never taken, like, a dance class, so I have an original dance, too, to this song. Now, who did some of your friends help you? A girl from my church, um, Beth Ann Navies, she um, was like a sign language person at our church, and they did like monthly dances to songs, and so I contacted her, and she helped me with the dance. Great, great. And then, now, have you taken taking, um, singing lessons? or? Um, whenever I was younger, I did theater, which isn't really voice lessons, but I, so I grew up in front of people, and I've grown up singing in church, so I'm pretty used to singing, and I have a little bit of a background. So. Yeah. So you were in theater in the Central Kentucky uh, Community Theater? And in the children's or the uh, youth? I was in the children's or youth, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. In the... Well, good, because that's really good preparation, you know, if you've had the opportunity to um, um, participate in that. Yeah, I, I hope that, um, you know, we want to see our young people uh, continue along that, you know, path. I, I love the arts. And so do you think that any of you all are going to be going into that kind of thing when you get out of high school? Um, probably not. <laughs> I'm looking into going into pro probably like dentistry or dental hygiene. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a great field. We certainly need dentists, and I hope you're going to come back to Washington yeah, County. There you go. Now, that's what I want to hear. Yeah, and what about you? I really don't know what I want to do right now, but it could happen. I could do whatever I want. I don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah, haven't made a decision on that. Well, you don't have to, you know. You've got plenty of time to do that. So, yeah. And I am thinking about um, being a speech-language pathologist and work either in a school system or a healthcare environment. Yeah. I can tell by the way you pronounce those words that you've... <laughs> She's, she, you're going to be in the helping field, to showing people how to, uh, uh, with their speech. So there you go. And so now you'll have to share with me who your parents are. I might have forgotten that with one group, but uh, I know that, I think you say that, that, do you talk about that in that, in your program or who you, the MC says that, right. Who is MCing this year? John Graves. Oh, John does an excellent job. Right, yeah. And so he'll ask you uh, or to say this is, and your parents are? Pat and Melissa Taylor. Well, of course, I know them too. <laughs> Gloria Fogel. Yes. And Matthew and Shelley Smith. Yes. 
So, well, I tell you, I'm just so excited that you girls are, uh, these Washington Countyans are, are doing so well and are, and I know there's gonna, it's gonna be a great performance. And so is everything under control, you think? You got the, all the moves down for the I fitness? <laughs> I think we're about ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many more practices? After this one is three more. Yeah. Okay. And and then you've been uh, and then dress rehearsals after the three or three oh they are this is actually like the last practice. And then we have three this is the last regular practice. Last regular practice is today, and then we have three dress rehearsals next week. Okay, and then that will be it. Mm -hmm. And and so oh, and you're gonna have the the. Are you still wearing the long gowns too, or the formal gowns? Um, we switch to the shorter gowns. Okay. Okay. So, but still the dressy kind of thing where you come out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, good. So, well, I want to thank you all, and I'm excited about it, and I want everybody to come out and uh, our viewing audience to uh, come out for the performance on June 10th at 7 p.m. at Washington County High School. Yay!